and welcome to Established. Established is Sean Cowan, Tommy Bechtold, Shuli Cowan, and James Warfield. Now, Established is usually a live, improvised, one-act play that you see in a theater on a stage, but we can't do that right now. So Established is moving to Zoom, and Zoom, its format is more like television. And so Established is going with that. And what you're about to see is episode one of a three-episode Established arc show. So you can't just watch this one. You're going to have to come back for episode two and episode three, okay? Do it. We got a suggestion of three years. We got them from social media, and we're ready to tell you some facts about those years. The first year is 1605, and here's what happened in 1605. One, the gunpowder plot, well, that was Guy Fox's failed attempt to blow up King James I and the House of Parliament in November of 1605. Remember, remember the 5th of November. It didn't work out though. He got caught and then everybody else got caught and they all got hung and quartered. In 1605, we have the first recorded use of the word chemistry by Thomas Tim in his book, The Practice of Chemical and Hermetical Psychique. Wonderful, good job, Thomas. In 1605, the Puritans in America, which was not yet America, dressed very plainly, mainly in black, brown, and gray, and were outraged by the extravagant ways of dress in Britain. They wore white cuffs and collars to symbolize purity, and ultimately sumptuary laws, which were established in Britain to discourage extravagance and had been abolished in England by King James I, was established for the Puritans in 1651 to make the dress code law. In 1605, a proclamation declaring all people of Ireland as loyal subjects of the royal crown must follow me. Our second year is 1987. And in 1987, on March the 29th, Hulk Hogan successfully defended his WWF championship against Andre the Giant in front of a record indoor crowd of 93,173 people at the Pontiac Silverdome in Michigan. In 1987, uh, if you're feeling down, cheer up because Prozac is introduced to the U.S. pharmaceutical market. In 1987, Reagan was ending his second term as president, and the classics, The Simpsons and Full House, debuted. In 1987, the last condor was trapped. He was trapped so he could mate. Lucky little devil. And our third and final year is 1996. And in 1996, after 27 long ass years, Betty Rubble finally makes her debut as a Flintstones vitamin. What took you so long? And in 1996, we got some bad news for people who hate sheep. Dolly the sheep was successfully cloned, giving the possibility of eternal sheep life. In 1996, the Summer Olympics were in Atlanta and a nail bomb went off on July 27th in the Olympic Village. Also that fall, Bill Clinton beat Ross Perot and Bob Dole for the presidency. In 1996, the Northern Territory of Australia legalized voluntary euthanasia. So now you gotta sign up for it. That's it for the facts. All that's left now is the completely improvised shows. So sit back, Relax and enjoy these shows that were established in 1605, 1987, and 1996. Good husband, I shouldn't even be in this public house. No one is going to mind as long as you play by the rules of our game, my love. And what are the rules again? Be quiet. Be quiet. Be temperate. Be temperate. And be seen but not heard, but also and, not seen. And be as invisible as humanly possible. Yes, my dear. Ah, my little dove. My sweet, sweet, sweet little dove. Good husband, is there yes. truly such a thing in a God-filled world as a lucky charm? 
Yes, there I'll is. I'll go home and fix you supper. Why do you leave me here? Because there are forces that would scheme against me, wife. Demonic forces. Forces of nature so powerful that simply they're unfathomable to the female brain. Only I understand these forces. And as your husband do demand your fealty to me. So little lucky oh, charm. So nice. My sweet little lucky rabbit's foot. I do need you here at this public house by my side. Oh, oh, that is, that's just so sweet. <laughs> oh, to have the love that you, Mary, and you, Todd, have. Oh, I just, <laughs> I can only dream. I'm so sorry for sitting here. I, I it, it feels like a bit of a private moment, but uh, I, I was seated here first. No, Nathan, we're glad you're here. We're glad you're here. Mary and I, uh, we like the company of other men in our uh, in our marriage, so to speak. We like to have other men listen in and, uh, and, and understand the strengthening of our relationship, our bond. Try to cut through our Gordian knot, if you will. But you won't, because our marriage is a knot that can only be broken by the swords of the gods. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow, that really is that really is something. You know, I had a cat once, and I swear that little thing just would follow me around and and uh, those unconditional love. That's my only experience with it. Yeah. Hmm. That's a great story, Nathan. Uh, thank you for sharing that with us. Of course, the cat died. You know, they don't live all that long. That's, that's all right. That's all right, Nathan. Usually. Cats are owned by witches. That's a heartbreaking epilogue, Nathan, but my wife and I are here to support. Ah. Mighty nice. Um. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't be a man of the cloth, as I am, if I weren't to bring up the simple fact that in the last, mm, be it breath of moments, mm, all of the subjects you brought up here at this table, in this humble pub, were all pushing towards blasphemous, hedonistic witchcraftery. The cat, the relationship with the many men, the womanhood being that of a charm of luck, the foot of a rabbit, the eye of a cat, the scent of a woman. It's all very, very bad. In all things, you should probably try to keep to yourselves, if at all possible, my opinion. Uh, I, I say. Reverend I, I, Reverend, I did invite you along because I thought you were gonna be fun. I could be fun. Oh, I could be fun. I don't know if I appreciate your implications. There are no other men in my marriage. There are simply other men adjacent to my marriage. We have simply invited the company of other men to uh, join us in the Congress of discussion uh, whilst my marriage orbits around like an interplanetary uh, death star navigating the rocky roads of nuptials and wedded bliss. It's, again, uh, and I don't, I'm fun, I'm fun, but a star oh, death also- I am seconds away from slapping you with a glove. I Seconds away. No, yes. dear husband, please do not, if I may, sir. Father, mm. I think that of which my husband speaks is that of loneliness that only another man can provide. Sure, oh. I can talk to him all day long of butter and hens and collecting eggs and milk, but- only another man can really speak with my husband on his level of man things like horses and corn. Okay, but only conversation. Yeah, man. What on earth would you imply that would be other than the conversation? <laughs> what, what games could we possibly share together? <laughs> yes, of course, I may require calisthenics. Oh. Maybe a roll about in a field in some Greco-Roman wrestling of your 
Perhaps, yes, I take another man's hands in my hands for which we could then lay each other's power upon each other in sort of a recharging ceremony, uh, revitalizing, drinking from the Holy Spring, but I would never do anything other than just discuss things with a man. Maybe I would hold a man's arms in my arms as I help him to draw the string of a bow to teach him to hunt for nourishment. But if those types of contact are blasphemous, well then perhaps I am the son of the devil. Oh. Oh, I do say, <laughs> is the hearth in this pub ablaze? For I am burning up. <laughs> Mary. Yes, good husband. Would you do me a favor and fetch another round for me and these fine gentlemen? Yes, sir. Excuse me, Nathan. Excuse me, Father. <laughs> there goes, there goes my little lucky silver spoon. Oh, yes. <laughs> Isn't she just the prize, Peach? She looks well. She has color in her face. Yes. Oh, I make sure of that every morning. There are some mornings I wake up and she's white as a ghost. Oh. Uh, and I just perform a screaming ceremony where I will oh. shout into her face and till she wakes up quite frightened and upset, and then uh, you'll see the color return to her face post-haste. <laughs> Reverend, you look so uncomfortable. Would you like to switch seats? It's not that. It's just that almost entirely every time you speak, it's heresy. And almost every time. When you open your mouth and start saying things, it sounds like... It's completely against the church. So it's bad. You, you're saying naughty things. <laughs> I think I understand the problem here, Reverend. I think you're taking what I'm saying literally. You're oh. taking my words and you're strictly interpreting them as fact. Whereas I may just be using these words as mathematics and puzzles. You know, I may be yeah. speaking in riddles. I may be uh, having a bit of fun with you. But what? you can't take everything I say seriously. Like if I were to say that Nathan and I will occasionally hold each other upwards and downwards and lay our hands and faces against each other's crotches and other faces in a six nine position, I don't mean that literally. I mean that metaphorically. That, no, that Reverend, I must apologize for Todd here, for he he speaks with with such a gentle and and subtle and yet quick tongue. I got everyone drinks. Thank you. you Ale for you. Mm. Ale for you, husband. Yes, thank you, my love. There's my little lucky lamb. The most beautiful lucky lamb in all of the world. Well, if you're if you kids are happy with this venue. Then I'm happy with this venue. All right. Nobody's right? here, Dad. Dad, there's nobody here. R right. No, we 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 wanted to kind of get a feel of what this would be just for us to own this, Luke. All right. Uh, as if this is your big day. Right. No one wants to come here because people got murdered here, Dad. Well, no one wants to be here because this is the murder rink. It's not a murder rink. I, every rink has accidents, okay? All right? And, and most rinks are built in neighborhoods that just can kind of uh, stay. Listen, all right? This is our option, all right? This is our option. Your father lost his job. Will, this is our option. Luke, you can keep complaining or you can get a job because your father lost his. Yeah, get a job, Luke. <laughs> you see what's going on? on here mom he's trying to make up for a lost youth for years of a lack of parenting now all of a sudden he doesn't have a job and he has a lot of time so he wants to buy a roller skating rink to try to identify with his skater boy son do you see what you're raising here? Do you I, see what you're raising here, Bill? Do you see it? 
Betty, I see it with my with my two eyes here. Yes, yes, I see our two very grateful sons seeing a father trying to reach out and actually build a relationship instead of just letting it wash away. I think we should I, will... brand, I think we should lean into the murders, Dad. I think we should lean into we should call this place crime scene. Crime scene. We I might mean. as well. We might as well. Maybe it refers to what happened here, or maybe it refers to our marriage. We don't know. We don't know. Please, not not on the rink and not in front of the boys. Okay. The boys know. Oh, trust me, Bill. The boys know. Listen, when we have eight wheels underneath us, we are a family. All right. And I am standing here with eight wheels beneath me with those that I love the most. So let's pull it together here, okay? Stop talking about murder. Stop talking about the end of our marriage. And Luke, yes, I love you. And this is how I show it. Yeah. <laughs> Too late, don't you see that? Push into the murder. Save your relationship with Will. Me, I got a year left and then I'm going to community college. And once I hit community college, you can kiss me goodbye. You're not doing shit. You're not going to community college. Watch your language, Will. Watch your oh, language. pipe it, mom. You can't control me. I'm 15. I can very well control you for at least three more years. And we'll so wait till I join the army and then give me a gun and a grenade. Just what, wait. What, did you just threaten your mother with weapons? No, but I'll have a gun and a grenade and then people won't be telling me what to do, including Look, mom. Your father might not be man enough to stand up to you, but I am. I am your mother and you will do as I say. So quit this attitude, both of you. Fine. Whatever. Yes, dear. What did you want to say as the head of the family? I just, uh, I, I gotta be honest. I thought I saw this day going differently. Um, I, I thought I would, this was going to be a celebration. Um, and, uh, I, I just, uh, I'm feeling a little heartbroken right now. Well, we so, celebrate. uh, we can celebrate dad. Happy sure, birthday. as the sole breadwinner of the family, I can take us all out to dinner. Why would we go out to dinner when there's a freaking sweet snack bar 10 feet behind dad? Dad, get back there and make me a hot pretzel. Well, I mean, Will, that's the attitude I'm looking for right there. Unfortunately, uh, raccoons have really taken over uh, and that's going to take some scrubbing. So and maybe the dead loser. bodies are still in the freezer. My dad, is a loser. my dad is a loser. My dad is a loser. Will. Will, I, I'll get you some snacks. I'll get you some pretzels. That's not yeah. a big deal. Stand up to the raccoons like you should have stood up to your boss and like you never stood up to grandpa. That He's right. you just hit me on so many points right there, Luke. All right. Listen, can we just, for the sake of this family, Try to smile together. Maybe put on a, an old favorite song and then take a couple laps around, huh? Grandpa dominated you. Grandpa was an alpha. I miss Grandpa. Grandpa was totally an alpha. He wasn't a beta like you, Dad. Grandpa, Grandpa alphaed you all the time. Oh! He never looked at you right because you didn't go fight in Vietnam. No, I, I didn't. I... I joined the Peace Corps instead, and I th there's no shame in that, all right? Grandpa Peace. said you were chicken shit and that you had jelly for bones and no okay. balls. Listen, I, get en I got enough of that from my father. For the my last thing Grandpa said to me before he breathed his last breath was, don't be a pussy like your dad, and then he <laughs> mind. Okay. Mom, Luke. I'm so sorry I'm talking about your father this way. I'm sure the memories are fresh. Okay, okay. We've all been very hard on your father and we don't want him to cry in public. We don't want him to cry in public, Bill. Betty, I know what you're trying to do and you're not gonna make me cry. I'm not, <laughs> not gonna do it. Make you cry. I'm trying to keep you from crying, to keep you from mm -hmm. crying those tears that are right behind your eyes when you think of your dead father and what a disappointment you are to him. 
you, the you, boys know it. Your children know. Do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, is this fun for you? Huh? This is fun. This is the fun thing for Betty. You never, no. got to, you never got to tell your father screw off and then he died and now you don't know what to do with those feelings. Dad, can you even skate? Of course I can skate. Yeah? I've never seen you skate. I've never seen you skate, actually, now that you mention it. You Let's can't back skate. The- Dad can't skate. 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 I don't need to take this. I don't need to take this. Listen, all right. I I do I do beautiful skating. I I would I'd bring tears to each one of your right. eyes. So, if oh, I you know what? I'm ready to cry. Let's do it. I don't want to do that. Show us your stuff. I don't want to do that to us. I'm not going to do that to us. All right. That would just tear you three apart. Boys, he can't skate. That come off. Dad can't skate. Dad can't skate. We know, Ma. We know you can skate, though, Ma. You, when you skate, you look like a beautiful swan on a pond. Mom, you're so graceful Thank on skates. You. Thank you, 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 dear. You look like you look- Katarina Vitt. Oh, thank you. She when posted for Playboy. <laughs> Mom, when, you go to, when I go to community college, I want you to know you can come visit me and party with me and find yourself a new young husband. Yeah, that is- when, when I go to wildly war, inappropriate. When, when I go to war, you can visit me on the battleground and maybe shack up with one of my platoon mates. Thank you, Will. You know what? I don't think mothers come to visit on the battleground. But what am I going to do? That's what you have an issue with. Who's going to rub my feet when they get sore? You'll find someone, dear. I don't think I'm ready to go to war. You don't have to go to war yet. You have to in my room for at least you know, three years. Will, you got to nut up. You're acting like dad right now. You're acting like a real dad. Sad all the time. I'm sad all the time. <sighs> what do you mean you're sad all the time? Every day is a dark cloud for me. Every day I'm sad. Nothing helps. I this wish there was my- a pill I could take. Bill, this is why I told you don't let them read Newsweek. They know. They know about that pill. Oh, well, Betty, depression is not just a made up thing for, for people to wear sweatpants all day. All right. This is this is something real. And, and Will, I, I can empathize. Sometimes right? people I, are sad, Will. Just get over it. <laughs> Please, I'm gonna get fired. Either rent something, buy something, do something. You can't just the security cameras can see you guys. Calm down. This is cool. The whole gang's back together again. How long's it been? Greg. And we're on camera. That's exciting. Jesse, Greg, Daphne, I am gonna get fired. I need this job. I I'm sorry we were have been separated for the whole summer, but like please. Just buy something, just buy anything, rent something. You're different, man. Okay, yes, I am different. You're, you've, you've become corporate Carl. <laughs> Greg. Hilarious. Very corporate funny. Carl. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, corporate Carl is going to be buying a corporate Toyota Corolla with this money, so laugh it up. Just don't understand how you got into this whole track, Carl. I mean, we used to be like of like minds at the very least. I'm still of like minds with you guys. I just have a job at Blockbuster now. You're wearing khakis. I have to. It's required. It's the uniform. Have to? No, none of us. None of us are tied down by anything, okay? You don't have to do anything, Carl, but be Carl. Okay. Okay. Well, listen, guys, this is great. I am so happy that you all came to visit me at work. uh, And I'm glad that you've had a great time loitering in the, uh, you know, area of the store. We came to hang out with you. Why won't you hang out with us? You're here for like another half hour. And then we were going to take you out to do something fun. 
okay, it just looks bad for me if there are three people standing, you know, relatively close to me and not browsing for DVDs or, or, or movies or VHS tapes. Uh, but uh, there, we only have like three DVDs here. It's a pretty right. new you What is DVD? In the parking lot? Daphne, you want to go uh, wait out in my uh, Trans Am? No, I'm cool. Hey, you, okay. guys don't, you guys don't have to go leave together. I mean, I think everybody can stay either leave and all go separate ways or, or I guess yeah, I know. it's been all summer Daphne you haven't uh, seen my Trans Am yet I got a Trans Am you don't have to go see the Trans Am Daphne That's, uh, you know what a Trans Am looks like right yeah it's got a bird on the front it's got a, it's a, yeah, it's a, yeah it's got a bird on have the you front. seen all the Trans Am though Daphne does that help Jesse are you helping mm, just curious if you've seen all of it or just no, the bird. I just said she hasn't seen it at all. Yeah, what is wrong She's with never, you? She hasn't. Daphne hasn't oh. been in the. Trans because you have, you have the only one, right? No, that's not what I mean. I didn't. That's not what I meant, Daphne. That's oh. not what I did. You guys, whatever, whatever. I really don't care. You guys know I don't care about cars. Whatever. Oh, just you don't. Everybody, oh. calm down, okay? I thought we all decided that we were going to be cool about all of this. Cool, we're all cool. We're, we're all cool. We're cool. Okay. I think it's super cool for a person to buy a car with the money that they make at their job instead of getting a car as kind of a, I guess, an act of mercy from their father uh, and, uh, and that being the way they get the car. When I go to the dealership and pick out my Corolla, I'm going to feel very satisfied, very accomplished. Whereas if I were to just have been given a car by my dad uh, out of desperation. My parents got divorced and that was like a settlement of mine. It, it, do you think that makes me feel good? You said it was cool. In fact, you loved that car every minute until I asked Daphne if she wanted to sit in it. I guess I'm just a little more mature now. I guess like that was how I was when I you know, was waiting for my balls to drop. But now that they're firmly on the uh, down and down, down low. Uh, yeah, I just want to make more adult purchases and want to feel good about myself. I've been taking vitamins every day. Wow. Never too early to start worrying about your health. Ew. Ooh. Ew. Carl, this isn't you. This isn't you. All right, and also, you're out of milk duds. Jesse? I'm going to need to sign you up for a rewards program or you're going to have to get out of here. What does that entail? What do you want to know about me? I personally know everything I need to know about you, but I'm going to sign you up for the Blockbuster Rewards Program and that will give us a, buy us another 10 minutes here, okay? So can I have your full name? Why don't you think about it, Carl? You're so upset that we're standing around talking, but... Looking for videos and being in a blockbuster is standing around. The activity that you do is standing around. Whether you're trying to pick a movie and no, we are not seeing Little Miss Firecracker again, or you're talking to your friends about which movie you should see. For example, you might say, no, we are not seeing Little Miss Firecracker again. I probably want to watch Rudy. I'm thinking about going out for the football team. Really? Yeah, I know Daphne. I know you go to all the games, so that would be cool. That if I was on the team, and then you could watch me play, and maybe uh, I'd even be quarterback. You know? Uh, we all go to the games. There's nothing else to do in this town. That's crazy. I also am going out for the football team. Uh, I'm using the money that I am getting at this job, the lucrative paychecks I receive uh, biweekly to purchase a weight set and I'm going to get absolutely yoked uh, and I am going to play quarterback for the football team, probably starting quarterback, but uh, it would be super fun. Uh, Craig, if you were my backup. Well, probably I'll probably start because I'll be fueled by the rage of the impending divorce of my parents because they couldn't get along and love me enough. So I'll probably use that lack of love. Yeah. But if you could throw your dad probably wouldn't have left. Right. I mean, that had to have been a part of it. Disappointment in his son's lack of athleticism. So I'm guessing that the rage that you're feeling is really more blame. Blame for yourself. 
And you can't take that out on weight rooms, and that's not going to translate to the football field. But I wish you best of luck, and you're going to be a great backup. And honestly, I'm going to need your help out there, sport. You guys, listen. Come on. If you want to go out there and do what the man says, play a game that is based on war, go ahead. But I, the only person you're going to impress is yourself. I thought we were friends. Why are you guys trying to tear each other down? We're friends. I'm not trying to tear him down. I probably won't go off with the football team. In fact, maybe I'll even protest it. And make yeah, it I'm sound. actually not interested in the football team. I'm going to be taking a knee with my head bowed and my hands in a prayer position for the entire three hours of the football game in silent protest. <laughs>